Hi there, and welcome to Breaking the Block. I am your host, Adam, and uh, just gonna do a quick video while I work on completing my Viking village. Here it is. Um, I have a single bag left, two bags left. I'm in bag 14, and I think there's 15, so two bags left. Um, and yeah, it's been a really fun build. I've done it in stages. I'm a... <laughs> I'm doing a lot of different builds right now at the same time um, instead of just seeing one through to completion like uh, perhaps a sane person should. Um, so this is definitely taking me longer than I um, anticipated, but I love it. It's really cool. Um, the parts in it alone are really awesome to have. I think I will end up getting more sets. I'd like to get another one and then kind of remix it to do another half of the village and make it a bigger island. Um, and one thing that I did get for this was the goat boat um, from Thor, I think it's from, which is a Marvel movie, obviously, I, I think, uh, Marvel, DC, who knows. Um, but I did get Thor's goat boat because uh, it very much fits in with this aesthetic and was cheaper than the Creator 3-in-1 Viking ship. Um, I do think down the line I will get that uh, Viking ship, maybe when I get the second set of this and do the house version that they have in that uh, as one of the houses on the other side of the island. But yeah, so we're building, I think this next one is a bridge. So we have these two little bridge ropes um, going down. And um, yeah, so let's dive in. And while we do, I'm gonna fill you in on some other Lego details going on right now. Uh, so last night I built, um, you can see him to my right, your left, our lovely Harry Potter Gringotts dragon, complete with chains. Uh, this build was so fun. I love it. Um, the way the head looks, the way it articulates, uh, the chain around the neck, the details are incredible in this dragon. The way the wings work and fold in, the way you can reposition him to your wanting. Um, I just think it's a really beautiful build. It was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, um, I did that last night. I'm really happy with that. Um, oh, drop your piece. Don't hate that. Um, one of the things I've been noticing about the Gringotts build in specific is like, I haven't super dove into that. Maybe once I'm done with Viking Village, I will. Um, but I've done the gift with purchase, which I had two of, so I built both of those. Um, I've pulled the minifigs out and created those, and I've done my little dragon here. But other than that, I haven't di dove, divin, not divin, dived. I haven't dived into it yet. Huh? Grammar. Anyway, uh, <laughs> haven't done that yet. Um, so um, hopefully, I will. Um, I'm really excited about it, certainly. Uh, it's one of those things where, like, as soon as I got Gringotts, like, as soon as FedEx delivery was like, your delivery's arrived, and I got home and I got the box, as soon as I got that, I was like, I need to do Diagon Alley, um, which I don't have Diagon Alley. Um, so I'm, I, I, that will be happening soon. It's a more expensive set, so gotta save up the shekels first. Um, wish I had a Gringotts vault to keep them in. Um, because life is expensive and Lego is expensive. But yeah, I definitely want to do Diagon Alley. And one of the thoughts I've been like really uh, entertaining lately is I'm supposed to be building as I do this. This is the whole concept of this video. Um, so we'll try. <laughs> um, one of the things I've been wondering about lately is maybe I do think I have enough in my just overstock and my pieces in general to uh, do it without buying it and save $500, which isn't the worst plan ever. Um, so I may try and pull the instructions from online or if anyone else has an extra copy of the instructions and want to send them to me, let me know. That would be amazing. Um, so I can have a hard copy. Um, but yeah, I might try and do that just like loose leaf and pull it all together and see what, what I have, what I don't have, um, if it can be done. Um, I think that would be an exciting project to kind of wrap up the year with. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to build it as I talk at the same time, so we're just going to chat. Um, the other things I've been working on lately is I'm kind of in the middle of a move. It's been a nightmare as far as Lego is concerned. Um, when I first started to try and wrap my head around transporting it all, I kind of lost my mind for a quick minute. Um, and I was like, oh, this is going to be a great chance. I'm going to just do a cart launch and reset. Um, so I literally took apart my entire Lego city, took apart every build I had built up in the past year, which was a lot of builds, um, and just pieced them out into my overstock um, in no order, did not store any boxes that were like, this is the city box or whatever. Um, and I regret that so very deeply, so very deeply. Uh, so I've spent, that happened about two weeks ago, I've spent a majority of the past two weeks um, recovering from that quite frankly, and organizing my stock and separating them out into bins and stuff. So I'm feeling like I'm back on an organizational path, but I'm also moving to a space that is going to be smaller, so I don't know what I'm going to do with all my Lego, and that's been kind of a nightmare, especially with the plans that I have for breaking the block in the next year. Um, require space, so I may end up renting an additional space that would be like a Lego space. I don't know. We'll see what happens, what works out. But right now, um, yeah, we're getting back to a place of organization. Um, and I have ideas about what an organization and system will look like once I'm able to settle somewhere. But right now, um, that's where we're at. And it, I, I don't like being someone who's like in a transitory moment. So like I like being settled. Um, so this is not a comfortable place for me to be in with all my Lego just everywhere. Um, earlier today I was working on a project and I needed a 2x2 um, a two two with a little um, turntable on it. Um, and it, I, I know I have millions of them and I just couldn't find a single one and it was so frustrating to me. Um, but you know what? People have it worse elsewhere in the world so we're going to count our blessings. Um, I also started another really exciting project today and started recording video for it. Um, so hopefully by the end of the week, I'll be able to post the first part of that. Uh, and that's with my Titanic set, taking it off my shelf. That's my favorite Lego set of all time. I love the Titanic. Um, and so what I'm doing with it is I'm <laughs> tearing it apart. Uh, <laughs> just call me an iceberg. Um, too soon? Mm. Uh, and I'm tearing it apart and, um, and I'm going to make the shipwreck version of it. So, um, I started the bow section today. I printed out some reference images. I have a bunch of Titanic books, so I've been using reference images from that to kind of, uh, create what I'll need to, to make a shipwreck version of it, which I'm really excited about. Um, and we'll see what that ends up looking like at the end of the day. It'll be interesting because I'm I didn't want to like go full into it and like just buy the pieces in different colors and like make it a more aged um, rusty version. Eventually, I will do that, or I would like to do that. But for now, we're gonna do it this way with the color set that it comes in um, and go from there. But I'm excited about that project. It looks really cool so far. Um, definitely. Uh, <laughs> feels uh, bittersweet to take that one apart. That's one that like I was like, I'll never take this apart. This is going on every mantle I have, uh, which I stand by. I will do that. Um, it will be back together eventually. And But this is a cool project to do in the meantime. And um, yeah, what else is going on in the Lego world? I've been coming up with a lot of um, just ideas for content and um, ideas for future builds and um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, I think that's where I'm going to end this video so I can actually finish this Viking village, which I am clearly incapable of doing while also talking to a camera. <laughs> um, but thank you for joining. Have a great night. I'm in my jam jams, so I'm going to be going to bed soon. Um, so <laughs> on my Instagram the other day, I posted um, the Avengers Tower, and I was like, 
hey, this set's amazing. Like, I'm not a huge Avengers person, but this set's amazing. And I don't know if it's just because of how amazing this set is, the Avengers Tower that LEGO will be coming out with and releasing soon, um, but I was like, I need to start watching Avengers movies and see maybe I can be an Avenger person and then buy this $500 set because I don't have enough super expensive LEGO sets that I need to buy. Um, anyhow, <laughs> um, my point was I watched the first movie, Captain Marvel, first soldier, first Avenger. It was awesome. I really liked it. And today I watched Captain Marvel, Captain America, first soldier, first Avenger. I don't know. <laughs> and then today I watched Captain Marvel. Um, I really enjoyed both of them. Captain Marvel, the first like 20 minutes, I was like, what is this? But then it, it shifted and I, I got into it. Um, cool. Well, thanks for joining me while I pet sit my little, pet sit my little dragon friend. Um, thanks for joining us on Breaking the Block. We'll see you next time.